you guys can hear me with this uh, bit of Northwester. We are fishing Menandi Resort Beach today, and we're going to be going for some uh, some crop. Uh, they got quite a few fish this morning, yesterday as well. All nice fish, like between 8, 12, 30 kilos. So, uh, I just want to get this one bait in the water, which I did now. I'll take you through some of the bait presentations and what you'll be looking for and uh, false bait conditions. Then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll chat a bit later on. to clip the sink on, I didn't have any splittering, so it does the same job. Little one out there, that's an 8 0 mustard fine wire. Alright, so the old chocolate bait from the previous uh, cast, and then like I said, I'm gonna use this as a base. So, yeah, this is unbelievably fresh squid. This is, you can see, it just really, it's almost see through. Okay, and then the eye, everything just, it, it smells like, yeah, mouth watering. <laughs> <laughs> the lack of it. Yeah. Okay, so you just cleaned off the wings and the head. You can keep the head and the wings for later if you're gonna need some extra bait. It does work still. Take the skin off. Now you have the, the little uh, backbone or the pin in there. So I prefer to cut around that or along that. Okay, open it up. Okay, so that's your bait. You keep this also. When it's getting dark, I'll put this on the ink sack and everything's in there. Okay, so I'm just going to cut one strip like that. Remove the excess skin. Sorry if I'm brushing, but I've got a bit of uh, fist close, so yeah. it on and neaten it up a bit. I prefer just to tie it up a bit so it doesn't slide off against your, your dangle. Like that. Give it enough cotton so it's properly secured. The chocker is expensive so you don't really want to waste that. Just take it like that. Secure it around the base of the hoop also so it doesn't come flying off. Make it safe. That's it. Nice and simple. There's your, your hook. It's a very quick bait okay so yeah. Not the protest but it's gonna work. What I like about this it's like squishy and soft, as in fluffy also. Now, as you can check behind me, the water is very, very flat, like really flat. So, one thing that really works for me, with, especially with cob in flat water, longer trays, extra float. It's like a false bait thing, it does work. If your bait floats a bit higher than other guys, you generally tend to get the pool as well. Well, I believe so, and uh, yeah, we'll check it out and see if it happens. I'll put this in the water and uh, yeah, check you guys soon. Right guys, so you see that? That's little plastic balls, that's noodles. Uh, there was a container spill, I think last year sometime. Uh, I think it was around about Strays by area, around about there. But, so this stuff's been washing out still, and it's a mess. All around the coast, so yeah. They do have cleanup crews to pick this up, but it's all over. Even on top of this rocks, quite high above the high tide mark, so yeah, it's quite, uh, a bit sad, huh? Sometimes it's questions of how to uh, set your drag when you're putting your your rod in the rod stand. I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so the easy way to test it, if you just take it like this, and just pull, it shouldn't really pull your rod over. Also, there's got to be enough resistance for the hook to set it. So, obviously that's going to be too tight, then the fish can pull the hook out of its back mouth. 
and then uh, so you want to find that, that balance in between so normally when you're struggling to, to take the line off two turns will give you a bit of go and just one more turn just which just be tough enough okay or tight enough I know different reels got different drag settings and that but uh, yeah something to work on So, um, yeah, he's got the expansion could quite happen a bit today. It's a really good day. I've seen some catches that came out, but uh, I understand that some, some catches are paddle fails. Yeah, yeah, we had a really action packed day today. Uh, and um, we just knew when the wind had to subside from the southeaster. Yeah. Normally, that is uh, yeah. a few days southeaster, and then the wind drops, the swell drops. So, from this morning, it was still mayhem. I saw some of the guys with some ice fish there. Yeah. Yes. On a paddle tail, I think it was a olive color or it was yes, a yes, uh, so okay. yeah, which I lost afterwards. Um I don't have any more paddle tails but um a very this, basic setup yeah, this, is, this is what I use for that. And um, as you can see the um really is not the same anymore. <laughs> After that fish, I think it's it. Uh, I think that I did enough. <laughs> yeah, but so shows you so the fish one. What, what feeling to give you? Yeah. You know, in the water, that's the best advice. It was right in front, basically. Yeah. But the thing is, what's it over? So let's see what the sides are. Really strong little size, uh, shark for this size. Beautiful actually. And they can become a bit of a pest. So yeah, they've got no teeth. So you can put your fingers down the throat, take the hook out. So. Okay, so normally a good sign. presentation I lost my previous tray so simple little dingle dangles 200 pound uh, bread leader a little clopy there and then a little splittering that's actually how I prefer to make it simple now you can add float as well if you want to I'm gonna use the octopus leg as a base for the bait and then the wrap the chocker around it the chick is nice and neat as well and the water is actually very shallow now with the dropping tides so I don't need to float so I was gonna start with a chicken tweaking about that leg 
say. I'm just going to bash this little piece. The soft tenderized piece is going to lie down the bottom there. So I'm just going to hook it through like that. Okay, now I'm going to tie that part on. It's quick and simple, an oki leg lasts, especially now this evening where there's a hell of a lot of uh, silver uh, smooth out. So, uh, and small smooth out. We've had one. Decent pool, which uh, yeah, so they didn't connect. So there's definitely fish in the water. I mean, the local guys they came the fish this, this afternoon as well. So yeah. Okay, that's your base. At this piece, I'm just gonna knock a bit. It's a beautiful fresh jock. You can see it's like yeah, yeah almost translucent. Yeah, this wind's picked up quite a bit also. Okay, so just wind it around like that, took it through the top of the circle. Okay, that's your base, I was going to tie it off. That's a nice fire for chat, loud to work. Yes, definitely. Look at my coffee with the panel tail, that's very smart. Yo, cheers, Yeah, good going to Okay, so that's actually very, very quick. Like a long little tail there. Looks nice and proud. Fast choker, and there's your little clip to clip machine card. Okay. Also, local legend Stefan Oosthuizen showing us how to do a red prey presentation. Look at that. Woo. That was a moya. Quickly, a uh, little red prey presentation on the circle look. I just like to put it over the eye of the hook. Pull it back. There you go, that's your bait. Now I just tie it on. Certain areas you tie a lot tighter. Let's catch it. Okay, like that. And go back to the, the eye. Just above the, the eye of the hook. Catch it there. Move it like that so there's a gap. You see the gap there between the hook and the, the point of the shank? So when the fish takes it, the, the mouth will slide in there. Just tighten slightly and then a bit harder here. Keep everything intact. I'm gonna say. Okay. So yeah, you see there, if the mouth goes there, pass. Check it out. Okay, you can see where I'm gonna throw, isn't it a patch of white water between two reefs? Okay, I pulled that one to the left. Oh, no, let's see what happens. So when he takes it, just give it one wind and lift it right up slowly. Oh, I say fun. Oh. It's about 36.5. Solid look up, Connor. That's what I said for those. Connor. Okay. Let's say. Got two beautiful lines on them, eh? That's a solid look up. Beautiful. 
Okay, so when you grab the coin, that's razor sharp. Watch out for that, watch out for that. If you grab it like this, normally it's alright. So, yeah. Fast in the corner. Nice. All right, so quick look. There's a uh, of the gullies we've been catching this morning. It's uh, a lot of fish in this hole. Perfect little spot. You did see the water, so I'll explain later on what we were looking for. But yeah, have a look at that. They are stunning, yeah. Huh? All right, let's see if we can get another one. Beautiful day in Strasbourg. Mm. Alright guys, so uh, yeah, really nice little session we and Stephen had now. Uh, looking for some some Kholgin here in the Gullas. And um, I think, well I hope on the video you'll see the type of structure we were fishing. Um, the type of roll we needed and the, the type of little uh, pinnacles we were looking for as well where the, where the fish would come around. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, we'll chat again next time.